Hi guys, it's Troy the Full Setup here back with another video and today we are unboxing the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Windforce. Um, now this is the overclock edition, so basically in its overclocking game mode um, you will get a boost of 1468 MHz and a base of 1354. It's running on the GP107 chipset which is um, on the Pascal architecture but unlike the 16 nanometer process that they've been using before to manufacture it, this um, card is on the 14 nanometer um, Samsung manufacturing process um, and it's their new entry level graphics card for basically 1080p gaming at medium to ultra settings. Now as you can see it's got the four gigabytes of memory which comes in at seven uh, uh, seven gigs per second but this uh, version features a PCI um, e six pin power slot which I'll show you in a minute meaning that we're going to be able to overclock the card up to about eight gigabytes per second have a little look around the box stop specs for a second and we say GeForce GTX then we have a bit more to specs here as well we've got 128 bit memory bus as well um, three times HDMI which is a bit weird display point display point display port and dual link as well and then again we've got geforce gtx 1050 ti 1050 ti and on the back we have some pictures we've got the wind force cooling system the fans move in opposite directions which is supposed to cool it even more but to be fair this is going to keep this graphics card pretty cool because it's not very hot it's only got 768 cuda cores as well and then we've got some ultra durable components everything's ultra durable these days don't know if i've missed anything out about the specs there um, I won't go too far into it because then we'll never unbox it. So let's have a little look. Now this 1050 Ti um, retails for about £155 and I really think that's the max you really you should be spending if you're choosing this card because these overclocked versions with the 6 pin power, I'll take the graphics card out, you only really get about 5 frames per second more from all the benchmarks I've seen so I'd stay away from buying like the MSI Gaming X or the Asus Strix because the Strix is £190. Like, Buy an RX 480 for that price. And if you are looking for a graphics card this holiday season, I would recommend buying the RX 470 because that's on sale. But that's enough about that. We're here to see the 1050 Ti. So we have the disc, but I'm going to download everything from the website. Um, includes all that software, but I'll probably use MSI Afterburner. Um, and then we just have, you know, quick installs. Nothing. Is there anything else in here? Let's have a look at the phone. No. So there's no extra cables, adapters, or anything like that. Um, and also, I, why do I always get damaged boxes? Every time I buy a graphics card, I get a damaged box. So, we've got it in an anti-static bag here. Let's have a little look at the card then. So, I'm just gonna put this card down for a second. Because I've got all the specs on my phone. Because this is a little rushed. I only ordered this last night. And it came at like 9 o'clock this morning. So. Here you can see the graphics card. Now it's 40 millimeters in height. We can see some copper heat sinks here. Would have been really nice to see this in nickel. But it is a cheap card really. So probably not going to see that. Um, the length is 229 uh, millimeters. So it will fit in most cases, but it is a bit big for a 1050 Ti. Just for scale, that's about how big a normal 1050 Ti is. I don't know, but it, they're not that big. Okay, you know, all the other ones that don't need extra power and stuff, they're not that big. Um, and as for the width as well, it's 180 millimeter. Does stick out slightly from the uh, IO shield it should fit in most cases and in lounge PC cases I think it's going to fit fine I've got the PCI um, connector there for 3.0 PCIe um, let's have another little look yeah it's all in like a black plastic Gigabyte logo there doesn't look like it lights up would have been nice to see a little light as well at this price point again another copper heat pipe um, and the 6 pin Got some nice grooves here. We've got the two 90 millimeter fans that run in. I can't do that. <laughs> Different directions. Um, and then we've got this orange sort of print on it. Now you're not really going to see that when the card's turned down. And this is the one thing I like. The back plate, although the back plate isn't a metal back plate. This is all plastic. So it's not offering any cooling. If anything, this might make it a bit hotter. But the black plate doesn't have the orange stuff. It's just got all these sort of, looks like a transformer. You know, sort of transformers. Look. 
That looks like a Transformer face badge you'd stick on your car with a Gigabyte logo, but no orange on the back. And I'm really happy to see that because the reason I've stayed away from, I wanted a Windforce for my 1060 and I didn't buy it because it had orange on the top. Yeah, this is all plastic all the way around. So yeah, it would have been really nice to see a metal backplate, but maybe that's what you get for £150 if you want the six pin power to do overclocking. Um, and I am gonna do a whole overclocking video as well with MSI Afterburner, where I'll be overclocking the memory. So the last thing really is to just show you the import. So we've got DVI-D, um, so that's good for hooking up to 144 hertz displays, not that you'll probably hit 144 hertz. I'm looking down the camera and doing this, that's what my hands over place. Single display port, Really would have liked to have seen one HDMI and a few more display ports. So these are all HDMIs um, and I think they're 2.0B with a max resolution of uh, 4K at 60 hertz. The display port's 1.4 and can go to um, 8K I think. 7680 by 4320. So yeah, 8K. Um, so there we go. Well, yeah, I've got to stop doing looking down the camera and doing that. <laughs> Looks like I'm drunk. But there we go, there is an unboxing of the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Windforce. I'm um, sorry it's a bit quick, but I really want to focus on doing some other videos on this product, so I only have it for a couple of weeks. So if you want to see lots of gaming benchmarks um, and you want to see how um, I do a custom overclock on this with MSI Afterburner, please go over to the channel. Thanks for watching, goodbye.